guys, when is Wolverine coming to the MCU? Steak dinner um, right now. I, Let's well, do I'm, it. I'm, I'm not, not going to bet we're on it. We're talking month and we're talking year. I'm not going to bet on it. I, just, I, yeah. I really hope they wait like years. I hope, you know, the more well, I think about it. Two years, five years, five, 10 years. Five, six at so least. 2024. At least. I mean, cool. the more I think about it, the more I, I, <laughs> I tend to agree with Ben that the X-Men in their current form really don't have any place in the MCU. And I know a lot of people are being like, finally, X-Men is coming home, all of this kind of jazz. But I think that's a lot of comic book fans, maybe, that are that are kind of um, looking at the the Marvel comic book universe and thinking, I want to see this on screen. Where What we know so far is that the MCU isn't the comic book universe. And it's not tonally the same. It's not, you know, story-wise the same. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I think that the the X Men that we know doesn't really have a place in this particular MCU. I think that you could start to add a couple of characters here and there, but I think I don't think that they'll put Wolverine at least in the MCU as it currently exists. I think uh, I think I have my own set of reservations about you know how effectively they can incorporate the X Men because I do share the same opinion with you guys that it's quite nice having them exist in their own realm and and them have their own space to play in but I don't think you can't do that in in the MCU and we've seen them do that with Guardians of the Galaxy at one point in time they were very separate it's actually funny like re, it's like funny rewatching Infinity War and being like wow this is actually the first time Thor meets the Guardians mm. of the Galaxy it seems so part and parcel these different. days mm. like I mean the the X Men they, they can exist in very different tones and like Guardians of the Galaxy has retro music music and you know it's got a different vibe and then you can push that it to another extreme totally it is not that totally different than the well, rest of the think- mcu it's very much very obviously still an mcu film it's whereas, got its own flavors though whereas and I don't the think- x-men the the whole the premise the style but we're the, talking the pedigree even is is a mile away from from what you find in the mcu as what a do you whole. mean pedigree I mean, you know, you don't have the range of films in terms of good and shit in the MCU that you do in the um but but i mean like the x-men Fox. i mean but like I just, the, we, we, we're good they, they're gonna recast everyone they're gonna give it a different vibe yeah no, they're gonna I reinvent just, it right, it I, can't I, exist as it is it can't ex- that version you know patrick stewart in yeah, mckellen it's done, it's done. but and, no, and that's, that's a similar my, thing to like the toby Maguire spider-man and the tom holland spider-man yeah. it's a reinvention but then even look at logistically um and this is something that's been brought up time and time again, how do you retcon the X-Men into this universe? Because, I mean, the X-Men are well known by this time in, in that, in like, at least in the comic book timeline, but even in just, you know. I'm sure they're going to the, do something with the, um, what was ha- the term they used in Age of Ultron for the, the uh, enhanced? They'll, right, they'll, yeah. they'll, 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 but then they'll, they'll, They'll do something with that. How much flack did they get for for taking mutants and making them enhanced? And like, can you imagine? Sorry, none. Yeah, I've I've heard a bunch of people. I heard a a bunch of people um, have a bitch and a whinge about that. Nerds. And and in addition to that, can you imagine like the whole idea of mutants and like the 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 the, one of the main reasons or one of the main I guess plot devices of the X Men in general is that. The, the mutants are a form of evolution and, and you know, that um, that tension between normal humans and mutants and all that. Can you imagine just taking that and ripping that out of the X-Men? Yeah, That'd the, be bizarre. They, they, I, I, as I said, I've got my own set of reservations and they do have to handle it with sophistication. But I don't think Marvel is not... I think they know what they're doing and they will find mm. a good... Um, well, way to incorporate it. We in. don't know if they are incorporating, and that's the well, thing. They, they know what they're doing. Supposedly, so they... the next event film is going to be Avengers versus X Men. I think beyond Marvel knowing Sen- what sorry, they're says doing, who? says um, John. You know, John on John. the internet. Yeah, yeah. John's John right, on the dark like web. 87% of the time. <laughs> I, th- I, I don't know. Four, like four, but that 4% is. I there's think, some fines. Look, I think beyond Marvel knowing what they're doing, um, which they generally do, Disney is an unstoppable juggernaut of money-eating monsters that will, regardless of what I don't know, Feige wants, who knows how long he's going to be around, I think the integrity of the MCU is going to really start crumbling sooner than we might think. Why? And I would not what be surprised. I, would not, I don't know, because I think Feige's on the way out. The amount of... Why do you think pro- Feige's on the way The amount of product they're, they're, they're making, you know, building up, like they're just shooting into new areas. And I, I don't know. I think... I'm, I'm not talking about superhero fatigue necessarily, just, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't think they can 
keep this up to as long after Endgame as we would like. And I would not be surprised if we see within a couple of years, because of this merger, Wolverine just fucking step out of a portal and be like, I'm in the MCU now. Like, yeah. I, I, I think they are going to pull the trigger on this shit sooner and maybe sloppier than uh, any of what us would like. What leads you to believe that? I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I, as I said, I have my reservations. You just said but- that the next movie is going to be Avengers versus X-Men. <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking cool. No. Well, I'm not, why, I'm, how can you say no I'm not when saying, there's no creative vision? There's no, like, if you sat there, imagine if you sat there and you watched that film, you're like, fuck, they did it again, motherfucker. That, that, I would not put that out great. of the ballpark. Exactly. I'm not, saying, options, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, either, I'm not saying either way in this regard. I'm not saying it's going to be good or bad. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if this all really just starts happening a lot quicker than we think. I, re- I, I listen. It, it's not like they haven't done it with Star Wars. I mean, not that I don't like The <laughs> Last Jedi from? or The Force <laughs> Awakens, but, you know, I'm not wait, wait, in so Star, Wars Star Wars mode. Well, yeah, so I, it's not a very good example. I'm <laughs> talking more about the fan base, I guess, my sentiments towards the fan base. So so maybe not. Maybe that's a bad example, but... Uh, so that I mean that means I'm I think, right. I think there's They've too done much... well with Star Wars, so they'll do well with this. <laughs> Boom, next story. <laughs> I just think I think there's too much that they need to change. There and and I do worry, Ben, that they they might go down that road. I think that you know people can only do this for so long. And and your comments about Feige kind of ring true, not on a uh, on that I've heard anything about him leaving, but just it would make sense that he's done his. He might look at this and I've I've done one to four and wash his hands and say like this is my legacy. And then, and then let the MCU do whatever they need to do going forward. Um, and that, I mean, that would scare the shit out of me because I can definitely see what Ben is saying and when they say, yeah, let's, all right, let's start bringing in some notable characters. Let's, let's bring in Deadpool. He's really popular. You know, let's, let's offer fucking Wolverine a shit ton of money and let's get him back I want to see, and- I would love to see a, ah. an MCU Wolverine movie. I would just think, ah. like, can you imagine, like, it would be, yeah, for the, they for would the, give it a really cool vibe. For the record, I have no... I really don't think like I think they could absolutely do great things for the X Men. No offense, gone. I like I, I think no, no, I like, the know. amount of shit they've managed to. You're just actually very skeptical make and like no, 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 I'm not. I want to say that's not what I was talking about. I'm sorry if that came off the wrong way. I I'm not skeptical of them doing the X Men right. I'm skeptical. Look, no, I, you're I, skeptical I, of them just, being able to keep up the pedigree that they have been. No, no I this said is that not. Him. This is not even what I'm talking about. I, I just I just I just that. hate this merger. I think I'm afraid the world's going to end next year. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I think I'm just talking about something else. This is the end times. No, I look for what I was saying is I think if they if they do it well and they bring it in. They do bring them in. I think they should bring them in, kind of like one by one, yep. very slowly. And I, I think it should be like five or six years later. And I, like, and e- if they do at all, because I think that the the task is is more monumentous than we really kind of contemplate. Because there's so much they would have to change, and and you'd have to think about how much of a backlash from the fans that you. But really Marvel want, is the template. It. Marvel is the template for that. They do. They know how to um, pace themselves, and we've seen that. They are the example of of not. Not doing it all in the first movie, and 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 if there's any kind of universal law, you know, in this world, it's that nothing lasts forever. I, I, it is you true. Either, you and, either and, die the hero, or you and, and watch yourself had, become the yeah, villain. And they've had the dream run, so if it does all crumble, hey, it's not going to be that much of a surprise. I think that's my main takeaway: is that I am. Why are you so skeptical, George? I, I'm not. I'm actually so <laughs> pumped. I am maybe just have this this slight feeling in the pit of my stomach. This hasn't really developed into anything yet, but that it, that Marvel is living long enough to become the villain at this point. Like mm. I'm I'm concerned for the future. That seems to have rung a little bit too true for you there, Ben. <laughs> no, no, not in not in any. Just specific staring yourself way. in the mirror. Yeah, I, I particularly <laughs> like the fact that we use the DC quote for Marvel. It's like yeah. the ultimate revenge. Well, DC is the big swing and dick now. They're fucking wrong. <laughs> Shazam! Early reactions are in. They're very positive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We shouldn't talk about that. Mm-hmm. All right. 